a small cap ETF that tracks the Russell 2000 IWM to the QTech Equal Weighted Technology Index of the NASDAQ 100 Equal Weighted 38 components inside approximately with the Andrews Pitchfork presented and the Andrews Pitchfork is anchored back here in October 2019 what I tried to do is anchor it where it goes through as many peaks or valleys as it can and give or take a little bit of a whipsaw like here here's a nice hit here so there's one two anchors that nail it exactly then some whip saws and you can see there's one here valley to the downside a little and a valley to the downside so that's anchored pretty good and stock charts presents three tines to the fork so there's a middle one an upper one and a lower one in solid blue and then I add the dashed blue ones and the IWM ETF that tracks the Russell 2000 leans towards financials, so regional banks and that. And you can see that technology was really leading the way since the end of 2018 and all the way down to April of 20. And we all know what happened then. And the Fed's monetary policy easing, quantitative easing for, I believe it was up to, really kicked in here in March and April. And you can see that the IWM was performing terribly against technology. So technology really took a jump up here. And then it was the everything run in October. You can see even though IWM reflects outperforming the technology stocks, the technology stocks were doing really well too. Along with them is just that IWM was outperforming the Q-Tech a little bit. And then starting in the beginning of 22 that's when the value play really kicked into high gear and it reached its zenith here near the end of 22 and the whole of 23 just about has been seeing the technology stocks the chip sector hardware sector software sector security and the likes of them really having their day in the sun for the, the entire year. And now value bounced off of this ad hoc tying here that I drew this bottom one dashed blue. And really took a nice jump up. And here's a similar take on the IWMQ Tech Relative Performance Ratio. The NYA to SPX. And all of the SPX stocks are in the NYA, so this basically cancels out everything in the S&P 500 and reflects everything else besides those 500 and measures it against everything that can be considered value. And right around the beginning of the year was that peak that we just looked at. November December here so this was a little bit later so this is pure growth versus value here and you can see it peaked and then the rest is history for 2023 and you can see pretty much when there's these double bottoms and double tops there's a reversal of fortune so here this is a double bottom for growth and then there was a nice value play here and almost made it above this downtrend line that we're using as a measurement to break out and call it the value play again but there was a whipsaw here 
and it fell down again but really no double bottom that was associated with this breach of this downtrend line so we're looking for these double bottoms and there was another one a very slight one but nonetheless a double bottom here and then it accumulation of value and then it really took off lately this past week or so so with the economic outlook looking better for the future that means the technology stocks which incredibly were considered a safety play could be falling out of favor besides the fact that they have raised the bar on themselves so high that it's going to be difficult for forward guidance to continue on the upwards trajectory and earnings etc so there's a lot of headwinds for the big technology stocks the magnificent seven and the likes of them so you can see in the relative rotational graph set to weekly that yes the technology is leading the way communications is taking a dive down into weakening and consumer discretionary is in lagging so you can see the ones that are improving and could be leading soon so the financials are already in there there's a value play there and then with rates coming down for the 10-year the real estate sector is improving staples and utilities and the big one of the value sector energy is weakening but it has not hit into lagging yet but that is quite the drop for oil and energy in that so it's questionable whether the value play is back on but again I've mentioned that there is no harm in starting to accumulate those sectors such as energy and financials and the regional banks and that broker dealers materials healthcare energy especially energy because it's starting to hit the bottom or one could try the pair trade play where you're long IWM and short QTEC or long IWM and short the QQQ technology index itself NASDAQ 100 you can see it's similar it hit the bottom of the Andrews pitchfork here without having to draw an ad hoc line so it legitimately hit the bottom here and I added the other two in dashed blue and this one's anchored at about the beginning of March 2021 but you can still see the value play here where IWM was outperforming technology and then about the beginning of 2023 the rest is history what a great run it had and that was no surprise to us at the beginning of 2023 you can see the double top here after this huge double top going back to about March of 2021 so there was that big double top here and then that small one so that was no surprise to us that there was going to be a rotation from value into technology and either way if you do rotate out of growth into value if it doesn't work it's right at the floor right here in this dashed red and if it goes back under it should have some okay support at the downtrend line even though it didn't reflect that here but there was no double bottom to speak of there and you can just jettison if it goes under that horizontal dashed red line and then see what happens maybe it will start looking like this one back here 
and when it does go into high gear it really kicks in you can see some of these just straight up lines here then again straight down so one could wait to hit this dashed red line up here this thick red one and see what happens there and then if it busts through there then you made the right choice so and if it just turns around and heads south and while well, you're ahead of the game and what I'm saying is that down here, if it turns around and heads down, well, it's a low-risk trade.